Hello, Leo. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your July forecast and beyond because we know time is an illusion and energy is fluid. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to check out you know, other parts of your chart if you, if you want more information. Um, all the signs will be up um, you know, at similar times here. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to upload them all at once. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So Leo, I was guided to separate the major arcana and court cards and get the overall energy for July on this twin flame soulmate journey and journey to loving ourselves. It's right here. The overall energy for you. Ooh, the lovers. Check that out. Check out this lovers card. Look at how incredibly connected this union is and divinely guided and there's so much truth and clarity and you know bees making their honey it's very sensual very sexual uh, perhaps someone likes to drip wax I don't know whatever floats your boat I don't know why that came up but for somebody you know more power to you and bees might mean something you know bees are very productive working together creating something very sweet. So this union is going to be very sweet and you're gonna create life together and making a choice in love. Leo, you're gonna be making a choice in love in July? What is that choice going to be? Are you choosing the partner that serves your highest good? That's what you need. Pick the partner that served your highest good, that lifts you up, that empowers you, that supports you, that's there for you, that connects with you on all levels. Because that's what that card I, I see in that card is just connecting on all levels. Beautiful. Okay, the fairies just fell off the shelf to be a part of this. Wow. What did I say? Creating life together? And then the pregnancy card comes out. Okay, Leo, Leo, do you want to be pregnant? Do you want your partner to be pregnant? Now might be a great time. If you don't, use the proper protection. But the birth of this child, if there is a child coming, if you are pregnant, having a baby soon, congratulations. I would love to see pictures. And I wish you great blessings. But it, this child is a blessing. Maybe someone was nervous about, about it, but it's a blessing. It's, this child this uh, will, will bless your life exponentially. You just don't even know how, but it could be also a birth of a new idea, working with others, being productive, creating something sweet. Whether it be a child or a new business opportunity or something, it will be sweet. The rewards will be sweet and abundant and bountiful and extremely enjoyable. Get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. It's time to move. Maybe literally move to a new location, but it's time to move your body. Do something that you like to do um, to get you going. You know, find, reach out to friends or a partner. And if you are pregnant, there might be some different kinds of exercises. You know, definitely check with your doctor and make sure that it's okay. Don't try anything extreme. My background is in kinesiology. You just want to, if you're already working out, you kind of keep the same, but don't overly strain strain yourself. But you can still keep working out or start some kind of routine walking. I mean, even just walking. Just go walk. Take a hike. Get out in nature. But, but get your body moving. It's going to help you feel better and give you more energy. Practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Okay, I have to say something funny because it's definitely coming through. Um, if you want to get pregnant, practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and show all those skills and talents you have in that department. Yes. But this also is a new birthing a new business idea. Practicing this look at how all these cards are kind of reddish in nature So grounding yourself in Mother Earth bringing in that stability and that security that you're looking for 
uh, the material world, bringing things into your material world that, that you need and you desire and that you're creating. So keep practicing your craft and your sharing your skills and talents with others. Wow. Okay. So it is career for some of you. You're being um, guided to a new career. And so it, the, increase your energy to keep up with this new career because some of you may be moonlighting, like doing it on the side for a while, and you will need your energy. It's important. But this, there's a new career on the horizon. And it's going to be very possible. Po positive. I can't even talk. Positive and wonderful is what I wanted to say, but it was all coming out together. But it's, it's this birth of this new idea, the abundance that I feel is coming in for you. This partnership is very abundant. The union within yourself, coming into balance within yourself, is going to help you um, stay aligned and move forward. Traveling is going to be involved, okay, with this new career, with this new life, this new partner. There's going to be travel involved. And this an upcoming trip that you're going to take will be life-changing in some positive way. So perhaps you're going on a trip with your lover. You're going to meet a lover on a trip. You're going to... You're, you have this new business opportunity and you're going to travel and something big is going to happen. You're going to meet someone. It's something. Something big is happening and traveling is going to be involved. And your debt's paid off. The old. That's why I feel the abundance coming in for you guys, for Leo. I really do. I feel the abundance in, in all aspects of life. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. And this also, not only financial debt because you'll be abundant in that way, but it's also emotional debt. Letting go of what's not serving you. Realizing that you did the best you can at every step of the way and you can forgive yourself and, and let forgiveness be to all others as well. Because you know what you need to do to move forward. You know that this union is right for you. You know that this is what you are meant to experience and you deserve nothing less than the best. And at the bottom of the deck is holiday. So there's some trip that you're going to take or that you've been wanting to plan. Plan it. Go on that trip with that person, those friends. If your family, whatever it is, just go enjoy yourself because something's going to happen. Either epiphany within yourself to realize how you're going to move forward, uh, some spiritual guidance, you're going to meet somebody, whatever it is, it, it's just do it. Just go on that trip. Maybe it's just for you to uh, relax and unwind and, and feel better about yourself and then really get going moving forward with this. Definitely a time to nurture yourself, getting exercise, eating right taking care of your physical body. And what does the energy oracle want to say for Leo, for July and beyond? Rest and rejuvenate. It is. It's time to rest, and that possibly is what that travel is going to do, is you're just going to be in a more relaxed state, just, you know, playing, playing, being by water, going within, meditate, going hiking, go out in nature. And this is a 10, so it's endings into new beginnings. And it is important to, to go within and find your truth. No longer being all tied up. Release the, the self-imposed uh, ropes that are binding you together and keeping you stuck. Those thoughts that are keeping you stuck. Those, those uh, belief systems that are keeping you stuck. The energies around you telling you you're not good enough and you can't do it. And it's you're, you're bound by your own thoughts is what I'm hearing very strongly. So it's time to connect with nature. Go within and release that so you can untie these. You have the power to untie yourself. And maybe it has to do with exercise and getting healthier. That you're just maybe, and no no judgment, but possibly you're making excuses for yourself. And you really just need to just do it. And just do a little something, you know, a few days a week to start. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, 20 minutes, three times a week, and then up it to, you know, 30, 45 minutes. And then maybe up to an hour, and that's all you really need. Uh, you know, four times a week would be great. Anything more would be great. But just, you know, start with three so that you can bring yourself into balance. Practice, practice, practice to bring yourself into balance. It's all about balance. It's all about going within and bringing your body into balance, taking care of yourself, and also connecting with spirit as much as you're in this earthly realm um, concerned about your material needs. It's very important to have a balance of both. Yeah, some of you have been very anxious about something. Maybe this pregnancy or taking this new career path, moving, traveling. 
um, all of these different things. And Spirit wants you to know that it's the end of this. That nine is ending. It's time to end this anxiety. Untie yourself. You have the power to do that. Nobody else has power over you. You have the power to take control of your life. And I'm really hearing strongly it's time. It's time to end a certain job that you've been doing that's sucking the life out of you and that is just not helping you grow any further. Maybe there's energies around that are just not good for you it's, and you're anxious about it. It's like you, you, you're up at night like, oh God, I got to go to work tomorrow. It's time to shift your focus to this possible new career and put it out there so that you can end this for yourself and take control back. And look what you're moving into. Cancer just got this, I believe, this card as well. But cornucopia, abundance, yeah, new beginnings. 11's a master number. Mastering your thoughts. Mastering your thoughts, Leo. It's time to take control and think abundantly and positively and lovingly to your, about yourself and about your life. But you're moving right into new beginnings once you can let, once you can set yourself free and let go of these toxic thoughts and toxic energies. And once you move forward in this new career or this new love or whatever newness is coming into your life, you're, it's going to be abundant. This union, this divine union of the lovers is abundant. No doubt in my mind. This pre the pregnancy, the new ideas you have, abundant. All of it's abundant. Yeah, because you've been deceiving yourselves. You've been in your mind. You've been telling yourself stories that aren't even true. It's time to get to uh, do a little more research, look a little deeper, because I don't think that stories you're telling yourself are true. You are worthy. You do deserve it. You are abundant. And everybody has, there's enough in the world for everybody to have what they want. And you deserve it. Light that fire. Get over this deceit. Quit lying to yourself. Quit keeping yourself trapped. You have the power to get over this anxiety. You really do. You, I believe in you. And look, open this third eye. Your third eye has been blocked. That's why you're not getting the clarity you need. It's time to meditate, to go within, ask spirit for help, ask for help, ask for the guidance. Do a meditation, clear your third eye, open it up so you can see the truth and clarity of who you really are and what you deserve. And that you have the power to set yourself free. You just, you do. And just connecting with spirit, connecting with source energy is the key to get your answers. And then go within so that you know your truth. A lot of times there's all this outside energy telling you to do this, telling you to do that, telling you it's their own fears, it's their own insecurities getting in your way. That's why you're anxious as well. Oh, you shouldn't do that. You can't do that. Oh my gosh, whatever. Yes, you can. And you will. You will get that body into shape. You will be feeling good. You will move into this new career and be extremely abundant. You're going to be traveling and having fun. And your debt is paid off. It's paid off. Believe it. Know it. It's paid off. And just take the steps forward that you're guided. Find the balance within and move forward. Get over the deception and let go of the energies that are, de are deceiving you. And that's really key is yourself, your own mind. You, you're very powerful. The mind is a very, very powerful thing. And now we're going to switch over and light that fire even further, Leo fire that burns within you, that passionate fire that once you untie yourself and set yourself free and move forward into these new beginnings, no longer deceived by others, no longer deceived by yourself, crystal clear clarity, your intuition on point, and birthing these new ideas and feeling amazing and going traveling, what are your romantic and sexual experiences going to be like, Leo? What are you bringing in in that department? Who is coming in? What is happening there? That's all part of us. It's all part of us. Let's see what these are. Now the Five of Swords. Okay, so traditionally the Five of Swords is what fighting and not trusting and just feeling like you're you're losing the battle, right? But in this Five of Swords, it's like I don't know. She's almost like preventing him from taking the dress off, right? I'm in control. This this will go as far as I want it to go at the pace that I want it to go. And I'm going to hold you here and, and, and make you wait kind of a thing. Like I'm taking control of this. So I feel like this is you taking control. And also 
for some of you, allowing yourself to be this sensual, sexy goddess being before you've you know, been so guarded with this is allowing yourself to be open and free and for someone to enjoy you. So it's moving out of the deceitful energy of people who took advantage of you and deceived you in the past and moving into this energy where you're in control and you're making the decisions that are best for you. And if it's best for you to let this um, partner take your clothes off and enjoy you to the fullest and you enjoy them, then absolutely do that. If it's not best for you and you're not feeling it, then you say a hell no and walk away. Because guess what? When you walk away from the deception, when you let go of the anxiety and you transform it into understanding and growth and love, you will be abundant. And I, come on now. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is everything. This divine, like I said, this divine partnership is everything. You are everything to this divine masculine. The opportunity of a lifetime is coming your way. An offer is going to be made. Marriage proposal, divine union, having it all. New beginnings, one, one, one. Oh, yes. And just. I told you, you're everything. This partnership is so incredibly spiritually connected, mentally, emotionally, physically amazing. Three of Pentacles, like I said, opportunities to work with others, bringing it together. But when we're talking about this, it's going to be everything that you've ever wanted. Peaceful, relaxing, sensual, like you're at home and you can just be free to be yourself. Very raw and honest. Yeah, but none of this anymore, right? If you allow yourself to stay in this uh, lower vibration energy and keep yourself tied to these energies, you're going to always be experiencing wanting what everyone else doesn't have. The five of wands, fighting. Maybe some, maybe you had a choice. And lovers is about a choice in love, so maybe someone is making a choice and choosing you, or you're making a choice and choosing them, and you're choosing the partner that you see. Look at this. They chose one another, and this third party is, is done like can only look at it now the true partnership is coming into union and all others will have to fall out whether they like it or not it's time for a change because this couple in the background is very much into one another very much connected and this energy what i was talking about this deceitful energy this you know bothersome energy from before keeping you tied it's time to move out of that and the Eight of Pentacles is like you're going to also have wonderful times to talk and just hang out and just be together. Just being together is, is going to be rewarding and comfortable and you're on the right path. You're going to enjoy coffee together and all the little things in life, right? Appreciating the little things, the single rows, like offering the little gifts you're going to receive, little gifts soon, some kind of romantic gift. But this is just about spending time together, spending time together, enjoying your time together. Yeah, because it's time to leave the past behind, right? Eight of Cups is leaving those past energies behind and really, really taking that chance and moving forward, taking care of yourself, no, long, no longer letting other people control how you feel about yourself, taking charge of your life, moving forward in this new career, whatever it is, leaving the past behind. Like, you're not going to put up with crumbs anymore. It's just not going to happen. You know what you're worth, and you're worth this... Ace of Pentacles, this this lovers, this divine union. That's what's for you. Yeah, look at that. Balance. Bringing balance, filling your own cup. Everything coming into balance, not judging others, not judging yourself. Letting go of judgments, letting go of those false beliefs that are in your head and bringing it into balance. Bringing yourself into balance. That's That's what the key is here. Because when you're in balance and you're aligned and you're loving yourself, look, she's, I mean, this feminine is loving herself or himself. Just love. Just happy by themselves, appreciating the small things. That's when this new opportunity comes in. That's when it all starts to happen. Oh, and look, the bottom of the deck is the chariot. Balancing the light and dark within. Again, balance. And the chariot is charging forward. Your partner is charging forward towards you. Your inner light is shining and calling them home. Keep yourself aligned, keep yourself positive, allow a resurgence of the relationship you're in or this new partnership to come in. 
this d divine masculine cares so very much for this divine feminine. I mean, so very much. It's so compassionate and so just so very balanced and spiritually connected in everything. I just keep hearing it's everything. It's everything. And that's what you deserve. We deserve everything. We all do. And nobody's perfect. We're all human. So, I mean, you know, men and if you're in a uh, male and female relationship, I mean, men and women are very different. Two females, I can imagine, you know, may have your, your issues here and there. And two males as well. I mean, every, we're all human, but, but it's okay. It's okay if people are different than us. Maybe learn from someone else's point of view or the way they handle things. It might be interesting to you to look at it that way instead of, you know, whatever. But this union right here is balanced. This union is give and take. This union is abundant. This union is everything. The most beautiful, sensual, sexual, spiritual, loving, compassionate, peaceful unions. I mean, I really just keep feeling that. And look at this. The card I picked, the power deck from the power deck from a spirit, you know, a message from spirit to end this reading is are all these horses running into freedom. This is you untying yourself and setting yourself free. Oh my gosh. And it's force is what it is. Force lives in your will and comes from your intent. Life is a process of pulling back your bow, aiming your arrow, choosing a target and shooting. The degree and quality of the force with which you choose your target and shoot determine your power and your success. Force is built through your integrity of purpose, your physical tuning, and your balance of spirit and mind. By naming your act of power, you create force. Follow your innermost passions in life. Empower your will and your strength of force by manifesting your secret dreams. Well, I cannot uh, wait to hear about those secret dreams coming true, Leo, for you. It's time for you to charge forward. That's your chariot is awaiting for you to charge forward into freedom. This relationship is freedom. Will create freedom for you. You will be free to be yourself. You will be free to be who you truly are. You will be free to move about life and do everything and experience everything that you want to. That's that's what they're telling you. So charge forward, set yourself free. It's time. I appreciate all of you and the support on my channel, and I wish you the very best.